Battle Report with Ben and Steve. You know, Ben, there's nothing yeah. that I like more in a board game right. than a strong theme. You know, you know, you know what I like in a game? What's that? You, they say in board gaming that it drips theme. Yeah. So you know I'm, a, I'm, I'm American. I'm naturally drawn to games so, so that with, are very like story. Yeah, yeah. theme heavy. And the game that you have proposed mm-hmm. for uh, tonight yeah. is like the most thematic game I think we've played. Fan de siècle, isn't it? What's that? Fan de siècle. Is, is, is actually this game is set at the end of the 19th century? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Okay, so oh, what, what, what about the game indicates that? Besides well, the, actually, uh, it's the, more sort of the, the jazz age, I think. So, like the, 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 the rule, Does the rule book indicate that? So, welcome to the most exclusive gala night of the year. The most renowned luxury hoarders have already arrived, eager to exchange irresistible offers. Did you say luxury hoarders? Yeah. Okay. And screw each other over to build the greatest collection of all. We were just waiting for you to start the great split. So, when I move the cubes on the tracks, yeah. do, I, do I do it in a kind of like jazzy manner? Loosh. Should, should I go Loosh, decadent way? Yeah, should, should I go put some like bloomers on or something? Mm. You should do it like you do in the Charleston. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing we're getting spifflicated. Exactly. Is that, was that a 1920s yeah. word for getting drunk? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I feel in my review of this that I wrote for the magazine, I described the art style as Fitzgeraldian. It definitely you know has, I mean? yeah, it definitely has a kind of like Gatsby esque quality. That, that draws the eye in. Yes. And because, you know, there are a lot of games that are simply moving cubes up a track. Right. But they're not, they're not this pretty. Do you, know what, do you know what our mutual friend Lemoncello called this game? What? Tracks. The game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's his favorite game, by the way, of late, that's also, like, tracks the game? Yeah, exactly. That's the point. He's big into tapestry, which is even yeah. more tracks the game. Yeah. At least here you have some player interaction in... in in thingy, you just literally move something up a track. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm having some LOLs at the expense of, like, the thematic part of the game. But actually, having not even played it, I'm already attracted to this uh, this splitting card mechanism where you're kind of, like, what, what, something about divorce in this game? No, you're just... You're, what is the split? You're splitting your ill-gotten gains amongst other players to try and rip them off and get the better deal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, even better then. So you have to like make a difficult choice every yeah. turn, which is great. Yeah. You've got to split your cards. You have to pass the cards yeah. to your neighbor in the secret envelope. Right. I love the secret envelope. Secret envelopes are great. It gets passed back to you. You've got to like sort of hope that the other end of the, the, the deal that is rejected is good for you. Right. I think it's quite clever. I've not seen it before. I like this sort of splitting what, idea. What's so amazing about, the, about Horrible Guild is they make their games look Fucking gorgeous. And I this, like this envelope, okay? This envelope's great. The art from Weberson Santiago is great. The color palette, the blue, the blue, green, and gold is, is really pretty. And I always go on about components not mattering, and they don't. But, you know, this is nice. It's and pretty. I, and I would guess that this kind of game also levels the playing field a little bit if you're, um, if you're, if you're seated at the table with someone who is prone to trying to analyze the entire game state yeah, yeah. and run an algorithm in their brain in yeah. order to re- lead, Faulty algorithm usually. <laughs> to lead them to the most desirable conclusion because you yeah. can't predict what people are going to hand you. Exactly. You don't have perfect information. And also, hey, come on now. It's just a term of art. Come on now. Anyway, yeah. So, so I've played this a bit and this is my go-to filler at the moment. Uh-huh. And the reason being is it doesn't last longer with more players. It goes up to seven, and because it has that seven wonders feel, it lasts your 20, 30 minutes. It lasts the same amount of time with three players as it does with seven, which I think is fucking great. That's, that's amazing. Which is great, right? Because there's a lot of simultaneous action. Yeah, because it's all simultaneous action. Oh, ah, okay, okay. I said simultaneous then. Yeah. I feel a little sick. Why well, can't you say simultaneous? Because that's American. It's simultaneous. Simultaneous. You just have to be different, don't you? No, I, I'm English. Uh-huh. I'm not different from my fellow countrymen. Marius, I mean, what do you say? I mean, you have to be you have to be different. Say, simultaneous. Yeah, exactly. You have to you have to be different from the the majority population that speaks English. No. Which I guess is probably India. Should we? Yeah, which, exactly. Which speaks it more like you do. Do do Indians say simultaneous? If there's if there any Indian any Indians listen to this, Karthik, right, right for in. instance, right? Does he listen? 
I don't know whether he listens. Well, well, he should. He bloody should. Yeah, why isn't he listening? Karthik, why aren't you hey, listening? Hey, Karthik, if you're not listening to this... I would take that personally. Yeah, exactly. I would take that personally. So what are you excited about? What are you excited about? This is day one of Cabin Con 2022. Well, we've got the, the mead. We've got mead, that's which pretty, is the nerdiest of all drinks. That's pretty exciting. I'm drinking scotch at the moment. We are in um, a, a, a lovely and familiar... Board game house. This yeah. is this is a house of games. I agree, right? This game, this this house. So Goslar, the delightful paintings on the wall. Goslar, I think, is basically a board game city. Yep. Like we are basically in a board game right now. I think Clemens Franz designed the city. Yeah, and this this house was put here in order to for games to be played in it. Right. So I'm just excited to be spending the weekend doing that. Of this particular game, what am I excited about? Um, I think I'm excited about the combo action because yeah. I see the potential for it. I already see, like, I'm given a, a bit of an indication what to focus on because I have this character card that gave me an initial boost up one of the tracks. So I'm thinking, you know, do I want to focus on books? Yeah. What do I have to move in order to, like, maximize my, my book my, 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 my book track here? I think you deserve a couple of games as well because you've been working so hard on your, on your new album recently. The, the you know I think you deserve you've been in the studio. I wasn't really ready to talk about this until the drop. Oh well, we this is for patrons. They can they can get a bit of a fucking okay okay. So just for the patrons, Steve's releasing an album called Moods. Right, and I'm not really. We should be very clear about what it is an album of. Yeah, it is just an album. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's nothing in the album. There's no music. No, no, no it's, it's, an not, album. it's not music. We're just releasing an album. Mm. But yeah, I spent a lot of time on it. It's the second second album released on 5G for D recordings. What's the first one? Cuts from the Cabin. That's a proper album. Yeah. But this is still an album. Yeah. It's a real album. And real it, album. It will be released. Yeah. I think I leaned against that window for like seven minutes. We were waiting for the sun to get the right angle. Taking that picture Ooh. was hard. Ooh. It's just one of the many benefits that you receive for being a Five Games for Doomsday patron. Yeah, you get you get the album cover of the definite album, Moods, what? by Stephen Sarek. When's it going to be a t-shirt? I don't know, we'll have to speak to my merch guy. But he's a Patreon backer, so Tim, you know what you need to do. <laughs> so who's going to win? That's a good question. The Great Split. Who won the last time we played this, Marios? It was me! I won it last time, so I'm confident that I'm going to come last this time. Well, I'm drinking mead, you're drinking whiskey, Marios is drinking, drinking milk. milk. So we're going to have to see which beverage powers us up the most. You can listen to the rest of this show and hundreds of hours of bonus content, including convention reports, in-game bickering, and loads more at patreon.com forward slash 5G for D.